he is known for being the founder of academic skepticism. He is recognized for leading the Second or Middle or New Academy. His name is Arcesilius. In the ancient city of Athens, a young and curious mind named Arcesilius embarked on a journey of philosophical exploration. Born into a world of thinkers and scholars, he was destined to leave a lasting impact on the realm of knowledge. Inspired by his predecessors, Arcesilius sought to challenge the boundaries of understanding and pave a new path of enlightenment. However, unlike many philosophers of his time, Arcesilius did not rely on the written word to convey his thoughts and ideas. Instead, he chose to engage in profound discussions and intellectual debates, leaving behind no written record of his own beliefs. His unique approach may have left us with a void of direct knowledge, but it also granted him the freedom to constantly evolve and adapt his viewpoints. One influential figure who shaped Arcesilius' philosophical journey was the Pyrrhonist philosopher, Timon of Phlius. Timon's skepticism compelled Arcesilius to question the reliability of the senses in uncovering absolute truths about the world. While he may have doubted the ability of the senses, Arcesilius retained a belief in the existence of truth itself. This led him to become the first academic to embrace philosophical skepticism, marking a pivotal moment in the history of the academy. Arcesilius' philosophical path was not without opposition. He found himself engaged in intellectual sparring with Zeno of Sidium, the founder of Stoicism. Zeno's doctrine of catalepsis, the concept of an indubitable impression, was staunchly denied by Arcesilius. This clash of ideologies only served to further solidify Arcesilius' position as a prominent figure in the philosophical landscape, challenging and redefining the boundaries of knowledge. Though Arcesilius' original thoughts have been lost to time, his legacy as the founder of academic skepticism endures. His refusal to be confined by written words and his willingness to question the established norms of his time continue to inspire generations of thinkers. Arcesilius' story reminds us that true wisdom lies not in blind acceptance, but in the pursuit of knowledge through critical thinking and intellectual exploration. Arcesilius, a philosopher whose ideas were shrouded in mystery due to his lack of written works, has left scholars grappling with the interpretation and evaluation of his philosophy. His skepticism is seen in various ways, with some considering it as purely destructive, negating all philosophical views, while others argue that he believed nothing could be known based on his philosophical arguments. Some even claim that he held no positive views on any philosophical topic, including the possibility of knowledge. His contemporary, Aristo of Chios, described Arcesilius as a combination of Plato, Pyro, and Diodorus. While he presented himself as a Platonist, his actual philosophy aligned more closely with Pyrrhonism. It is said that Arcesilius studied in Pyro's school and adhered, albeit under a different name, to Pyrrhonism. He rejected everything, including the true, the false, and the persuasive, just like the Pyrrhonists themselves. On one hand, Arcesilius claimed to be a reviver of the dogma-free dialectic that characterized the academy under Plato. He aimed to restore the uncorrupted doctrines of Plato. However, he also famously summarized his opinions with the statement that he knew nothing, not even his own ignorance. This paradoxical stance reflects his skepticism and the suspension of judgment about everything. Arcesilius' philosophy drew significant opposition from Zeno of Sidium and the Stoics. He specifically attacked their belief in cataleptic phantasia, which was seen as a mean between knowledge and opinion. Arcesilius argued that this mean could not exist, as the very concept of phantasia allowed for both false and true conceptions of the same object. In his view, it was merely an arbitrary name without substance. Although Arcesilius' philosophy remains difficult to fully grasp due to the limited information available, his skepticism and rejection of dogmatic beliefs offer valuable insights for our daily lives. His emphasis on suspending judgment and questioning what we think we know can help us cultivate a more open-minded and intellectually humble approach. By acknowledging the limitations of our knowledge, we can avoid rash and mistaken assertions, fostering a deeper appreciation for the complexity of the world around us. Arcesilius, a philosopher born in Pitane and Aeolus, embarked on a journey of knowledge that would shape his life and teachings. His early education was provided by Autolycus, a mathematician, and together they migrated to the vibrant city of Sardis. It was there that Arcesilius delved into the world of rhetoric, honing his skills in persuasive communication. But his thirst for wisdom led him to pursue philosophy, and he became a disciple first of Theophrastus and later of Cranter. Seeking a deeper understanding of reality, Arcesilius also attended the school of Pyro, adopting his philosophical principles, though not explicitly. It was during this time that he formed close bonds with notable philosophers such as Polemo and Crates of Athens. Their friendship and mentorship would prove instrumental in Arcesilius' philosophical development. 
In fact, they saw such potential in him that Crates chose Arcesilaus as his successor as Scholarch of the renowned Platonic Academy. Throughout his life, Arcesilaus was admired and respected by the Athenians. Despite some accounts suggesting that he met an untimely demise due to excessive drinking, the truth lies elsewhere. His own teachings and the testimonies of others refute such claims, highlighting his commitment to intellectual pursuits and his dedication to his craft. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.